Tokyo Electric Power Company workers began restoring cooling functions in the number one reactor building at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant early Monday morning. The workers entered the building at about 4.20 a.m. local time and stayed for about 30 minutes to measure the radiation level. They were supervised by staff from the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency. With a new filtering system, the density of radioactive substances in the reactor building had fallen to a level that allows staff wearing full face masks to work inside. Shortly after 8 p.m. on Sunday, Tokyo Electric Power Company opened the door of the number one reactor building after receiving government approval. Radioactive substances were expected to leak outside as the door was opened. But the company says it made efforts to minimize the leakage using a tent while ventilating the air inside the building for over eight hours. We believe opening up the door will have little impact on the environment. We have made extremely careful preparations as this is so important. After confirming there are no problems inside the reactor building, walk around the rhinoceros in the living room. Workers will check the cooling system pipes. They will also adjust the water gauge, which is used when filling the containment vessel. Prime Minister Naoto Kan says his request to shut down the reactors at the Hamaoka nuclear power plant in central Japan is an exceptional measure, citing the possibility of a massive earthquake in the area around the plant. I want the operator of the plant, Chubu Electric Power Company, to discuss the situation and find the most appropriate solution, because experts predict an 87% chance of a massive earthquake hitting the area within the next 30 years. The time is imminent. On Sunday, the Prime Minister told reporters that he will not ask other utility firms to halt the operations of their nuclear plants. As usual, you got us in some serious shit here. Small amounts of radioactive strontium have been detected in soil and plants outside the 30-kilometer zone from the Fukushima plant. Strontium could cause cancer, but the science ministry says the amount is extremely low and does not pose a health risk. The ministry found 3.3 to 32 becquerels of strontium-90 per kilogram of soil in samples taken at three sites in Namie Town and Itate Village, over 30 kilometers from the plant. An extremely small amount of strontium was also found in plants taken from four other areas 40 to 80 kilometers from the plant. Strontium-90 has a half-life of 29 years. It accumulates in bones and can cause cancer. The ministry says the amount found is extremely low and would not have a negative health impact even if a person ingested one kilogram of the contaminated soil. On the other hand, Go screw yourself.
Uh, Tokyo Electric has been in denial, trying to downplay the full impact of this nuclear accident.